Today, we are going to identify the frog's muscles and its functions through video presentation. Latissimus dorsal functions to extend and rotate the arm which means it moves the frog's arms up and down from reaching position. In amphibians, the dorsalis scapulae arise from the anterior edge of the scapula. The same muscle is known as the deltoideus in reptiles and mammals. In the latter part of its origin moves from the scapula to the clavicle or collarbone. It is a major abductor of the shoulder in most tetrapods. The M depressor mandibulae is of comparable systematic value to finger lens and the texture of the skin of the venter. The temporalis muscle runs superficially from the temporal bone to the coronoid process of mandible. The main function of this muscle is to produce the movements of the mandible at the temporomandibular joint and thus facilitate the act of mastication. The masseter muscle is one of the four muscles responsible for the action of mastication or chewing. When the masseter contracts, it causes powerful alleviation of the mandible causing the mouth to close. Myeloid muscle, death, this muscle are to facilitate teach and deglutition by elevating the floor of the mouth and hoid bone and depressing the mandible. It was concluded that the sternoradialis contributes significantly to muscular response in amplexus and that the tonic fibers in this messy muscle plays an important role in amplexus. The anconius is a small triangular muscle of the arm. It assists in forearm extension at the elbow joint and stabilization of the elbow joint. Extensor carpi radialis is a muscle that extends between the humerus and the second metacarpal bone. It also acts on the wrist joint, causing extension and adduction radial division of the hand while powered by the radial nerve. These two actions are vital for effective hand gripping. The extensor digitorum commonis extends medial four digits at the metacarpophalangeal joints and secondarily at the interphalangeal joints. It also acts to extend the rest joint. The extensor carpi ulnaris serves two functions. It extends the hand at the rest joint by acting along extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Along with the flexor carpi ulnalis, the extensor carpi ulnalis abducts the hand at the rest. External oblique functions to help rotate the trunk, but they perform a few other vital functions. These muscles help pull the chest as a whole downwards, which compresses the abdominal cavity. Although relatively minor in scope, the external oblique muscle also supports the rotation of the spine. Perioneus brings the foot forward and up. Actions of the gastrocnemius pulls the heel up and thus extends the foot downward. The muscle provides the propelling force in running and jumping. As the name indicates, the triceps femoris is divided into three parts that originate and insert in different skeletal elements. All function, however, to flex the thigh and extend the shank. The gluteus muscle, which originates on the ilium and inserts on the femur, rotates the thigh during to its particular location and the gravitational force acting on the internal organs during bipeptal guide. Gusidius helps to support pelvic viscera within the pelvis. It also has a minor role to flex the coccyx. The ilium bore ligament is a strong band of connective tissue and one of the three vertebral pelvic ligaments. They help stabilize the rhombosacral spine on the pelvis. Longissimus dorsi is an extremely important muscle. It forms the eye of meat seen when chops and sticks are cut from the posterior rib region and loin. The deltoid helps move and stabilize the shoulder joints. It is also the most important abductor of the shoulder joint. Functionally, the anginus fulfills the same tasks at the elbow as the triceps muscle. 
its construct its its contraction rather leads to the extension of the forearm furthermore it keeps the tension of the dorsal joint capsule thus preventing damages during hyperextension the rectus femoris is the only muscle that can flex the hip helps to retake the leg is a long sharp shaped muscle that covers the entire surface of the frog's thigh its function is to flex the tight and sharp the semimembranous which originates on the ischium and pubis and inserts on the tibio fibula extends the tight and fixes the shank the femi piriformis muscle rotates the femur during the hip extension and abducts the femur during flexion of the hip the, abdu the abduction of the femur is critical during walking as it shifts the body weight to the opposite side, preventing one from falling. Together with the other abdominal muscles, the internal abdominal oblique is important for movements of the trunk, maintaining normal abdominal tension and increasing intra-abdominal pressure. The lacitimus dorsi muscle retracts the humerus and thus propels the body forward.